Hello everybody, my name is Hyper, and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I don't really know what to do. We're in a very big pickle right now because I died and left my prawn suit all the way down there in the lava zone, 1,200 meters away. So, I think what I'll do... Yes, my... Aboard, Captain. My Seamoth is here, so I think what I'll do is... Welcome I forgot... Aboard last episode that there was actually a third option what we can do is hey that's not where my easy moth is but what we can do is i'm pretty sure somewhere uh in the modification station there is a heat resistant suit that you can make that as it may sound makes you resistant to heat so then i'll take my if i can i might i mean i think i'll have to take my cyclops which is dangerous because, you know, I, I mean, if I take my Cyclops, there is a Sea Dragon Leviathan, which would not be good, but then again, I have those decoys that I never used, so I really don't know, honestly, every choice that I think of, there's always some negative to it, and I just have to find out which negative is the best in terms of which is not the worst, and I don't know. I mean, I technically could just make a new prawn suit, but I don't want to do all of that again. If worse, if worse comes to worse, I will make a new prawn suit, but I'll do that off camera. Because that is a lot of material grinding that I'm not going to do on camera. So yeah. Now, I hope it's in the modification station. I, I'm pretty sure it is. But, uh... Stop chasing me. I surely get some more upgrades on my Seamoth, because there are there is more stuff I can do. Like I can do a whole reinforcements. There's like a a shock thing where you hold it down and then it releases like a shock in the radius of you that like shocks fish. I know, very surprising. It has shock in the title and it shocks fish. Uh, there's like a torpedo thing, which never really is utilized to be honest. Cause the Seamoth is really small, so you can just avoid most of the Leviathans, but it's still cool, it's still cool. And actually, let me check quickly. Uh, modification station. Um. Okay, it doesn't say it here. But I don't know where else it would be. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Didn't I make the still suit in the, uh. Modification station? It's been so long since I've. Uh, played Subnautica, to be honest. I mean, technically it hasn't. Because I made a video two days ago, but like, I just feel like I really, I've, I've, I've come back not knowing at all what's going on because I, I actually started watching Markiplier's playthrough of Subnautica, of Subnautica, and so I got all invested in that world, only to come back to this one and be like, yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore, but, oh, can you not play that music? I don't, I don't like that. That, that music track it's very not 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 fun I really didn't think this through like there's a lot of problems with my decisions that I made that that last episode like what if I die and my prawn suit gets stuck here uh, prime example right now uh, what if I need to get out for any reason uh, what if my prawn suit gets destroyed and I die what if I have to make a whole new prawn suit what if I don't have the correct tablet? Like, I didn't think of, like, anything. Because I completely forgot that there was actually two bases in the lava zone. I, f I thought there was just one. But nope, there was actually two. Because there's the power one, and then there's the containment one. And I didn't know that you had to go to the containment one. Now, I don't know how long my prawn suit will last, because I, I don't know if it'll get attacked by creatures, like... If it's getting attacked by creatures down there, I don't think it is, because it probably would have been dead by now. But I really hope that it's safe. I mean, technically it's probably fine, because obviously I'm not going to have all that loaded in down there. So it, it probably is still down there, but it's not loaded in until I actually get close to it. But this will either go very, very right, 
very very wrong we could just make the situation worse or we could actually save my prawn suit and those warpers are really an issue I'm gonna okay you know what? I'm gonna see what we need for a stasis rifle because a stasis rifle is I mean it's useful but like against a warper Welcome aboard, Captain. but anyways we are back at my base and I have so much water that I don't need at all like I don't need any of this water I have too much water I still have a uh, I didn't know not I did not know I still have a new I still had a nutrient block here jeez I can't speak but uh I'll take like one more I wish this reclaimed water didn't make my food go down because that's not fun but anyways let's see uh fin upgrades no where did I make this oh wait did I make it I made it in the fabricator, didn't I? Oh, of course I made it here. Oh, I don't even know how to make half that stuff. Synthetic fibers? Benzene and fiber mesh. Okay, benzene, I need one more blood oil. Uh, and fiber mesh. Two creep vine sample, I can get that easy. Okay, well. Okay, there's the fiber mesh. Hello, cuttlefish. Yeah, I know, life is not going good for me right now, man. I've lost my prawn suit. I gotta do a bunch of crafting just to get this suit. I should make a medkit fabricator. Can I make that? Oh, it requires so much stuff, but it's useful. Okay, what do I need? I have fiber mesh, don't I? Yeah, I just need silver, titanium, and a computer chip. Uh, titanium. Uh, I should have silver in here, maybe, hopefully. Nope, I do not. I always have all the resources that I don't need. Like, I have a bunch of gold, but I don't use it for anything. I'm never stocked up on resources that I actually need. Silver, that's what I need. Oh, two silver. I'm just getting spoiled. that that's good I actually put all that away because I don't need that at all that water uh okay so put that salt away actually I'll keep the silver on me okay so I just need a computer chip computer chip Okay, so two copper, a gold, and table coral. So, copper wire. And then a gold. I have gold right here. Uh, and two table coral. I don't think I have any table coral. I'm gonna have to go to the safe shallows. But then I can make a medkit fabricator, which is completely unrelated to my main goal of getting my prawn suit back. Oh yippee. Okay, table coral. Table coral, table coral. I'm just gonna fill up my inventory on this stuff. Like, yeah, give me all that table coral. 
you know, rather have too much than too little. That's what I always say, except I don't, because I don't say that I'll always... <laughs> I mean, I don't. Okay, so now I can make that. That's all right. And this makes a med kit every 30 minutes, so eventually we can come back here. And there we go, yeah. Okay, now back onto the main purpose of this video. Uh, getting my ship back. Getting my prawn suit back. So, <laughs> what were we going to do? I completely forgot. We were going to make this. Reinforced dive suit. So, two titanium. Done. I also said two diamond. Boom, done. Easy. Now, synthetic fibers. I need fiber mesh, which I used on that thing. So, two creep vine and benzene. Benzene, I need one more blood oil. So, I need to go all the way to the uh, creep vine. Not creep vine. The blood kelp. I don't even know if I have enough space to store. Actually, no, I don't need that. I just need to make this into fiber mesh and then go. Fiber mesh. Thank you. And I'm gonna get some fish so I can cure them. Is there any Reginald? No Reginald? Okay, I'll take a hoop fish. And a peeper. That peeper was infected. I'll take a salt. I'll take you. And you. Okay, you know what? Let's check up on my aquarium. I have not looked at my aquarium in a while. And who knows what sort of monstrosities have... Nothing. Okay, cool. I'm glad that all my creatures are living in harmony when their exact brethren in the wild want to kill me. So I have four, I need three more salt. I have no salt. Where is my salt? Where is my salt? Cure. Cured Spatrish. I best wait fish. Boomerang. And then I'll just cook the hoop fish and eat that now. Cause I don't have any salt. I mean actually I probably do have salt. Somewhere, but Okay, good. So now I just need one more blood oil because I'm pretty sure I have Yeah, I have these two, so now I just need to go and get Go and get a blood oil so I can make benzene, so I can make synthetic fibers, so I can make a reinforced dive suit. All systems online. I gotta, I, I just got a big shopping list, you know, of stuff I gotta do. Just a big shopping list. Get this and then make it into that, so you can make it into that, so you can go do this. I'm not shaming Subnautica in any way, because it's all part of the experience, you know. Ah, cool. More reclaimed water. Ow. That kind of spooked me. I did not expect to run into a rock. Floating Islands. That is not where we are going, but that is next to where we are going. This way, I can see exactly where I'm going in terms of downwards. But by holding space, that actually doesn't get me anywhere. I probably should have uh, 
not grab the other blood oil because if I want more then okay well okay tell you what we'll grab a, a blood oil maybe two if we can fit it nah and then we'll go down to my deep base because there's a fabricator down there that we can use unless it's like ran out of power that would just be great I keep forgetting there's a hole right here. Oh, and I don't like it. I hate how it just turns night. Like, it just gets really dark when you pass a certain point. But it's well done to the point where it's believable, you know? Hey, Lost River, we're back. How you doing? You doing good without me? I know. Okay, so. Once I get my suit, I can actually go into the lava zone and not burn to death. But here's the issue. I'll probably have to take my Cyclops because my CMOS can't go that far and I don't have a prawn suit. So I'll have to take my Cyclops down there. And the issue with that is that it's pretty big. And there's a Sea Dragon Leviathan. So I will try as much as I can to avoid the Sea Dragon Leviathan, however, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, and I'll try to park far away, as far away as I can from my prawn suit, and then just get out and use my Sea Glide. But again, this is very dangerous because this is Sea Dragon uh, territory, and I wish I... I really wish I didn't have to do any of this. I wish that things just went as planned last episode, but you know, that's half the fun of it, you know? Things don't go as planned, and then you die, and you suddenly come back to life, and all your plans are screwed up, so you gotta spend the next decade, or two, or three, or four, or five, six, seven, eight of your life on this planet eating alien fish. What was that? That did not sound like one of you guys. You know, I could just, like, live on this planet, you know, eat alien fish, drink some water, you know. I mean, I know I'm infected with that alien disease or whatever, but I don't... It doesn't seem to be getting worse. Okay, hello, base. How you doing? Okay, now, things could either go very wrong here, or they could go average. Now, I have decoys, so I need to make that first. Oh, I need, I need benzene, so then I can make synthetic fibers, so then I can make my reinforced dive suit. Oh, physical protection, too, so if anything bites me... Intent the sea dragon. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take the still suit off. Put that on. Reinforced gloves. Oh, I need that too. I still have my radiation gloves. And that's full. Okay. Well, I. I'll go put those in my. I can go put those in my uh, Cyclops, actually. Welcome up, Captain. I... Systems online. Okay, it is go time. You know what? Just in case we die, I'm going to put everything we do not need on my trip down there. Or everything that I would not want to lose. But, actually I need to take this. Okay. Let's do this. Engine powering up. Okay, we're at medium speed. Okay, get the tail. We've got to curve around here and go down. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Oh. I just realized something. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We can't go deeper. No. Oh my god, dude. I just... Well, 
I've got to go all the way back to my base because I don't have a modification station here because, ha uh... Okay, this is really not going well. My rescue efforts are not, uh, going as well as I would want them to. At this point, it would probably just be easier to make a new prawn suit in general, you know? What do we need for the Mark II? Okay, Cyclops, we have that. Three Kyanite, Plasteel. Okay, wait. Do I have Kyanite? Okay, I have Kyanite here. Warning, maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh wow, I wanted to jump out of the water, not do that. Okay, well, we have one Kyanite. But, uh, I don't know where the other Kyanite is. There's two locations it could be. It's either down in my prawn suit, which would not be good. Because then I'd have to make a new prawn suit, so I could just get Kyanite in the first place. Or it's all the way back up at my other base. And if it's not at my other base, then basically I am screwed. Because then I can't make the depth module to go deeper, so then I can't get that prawn suit. So then we'd have to just make a new prom suit. Man, this is just going terribly, isn't it? I... Hmm. I walk a lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. Do do, do do, do do. I'm alone on this alien planet, and I'm probably gonna die from some big ass creature. Do do, do do, something, something. Okay, well, let's hope we don't die, you know? Because dying would, is not fun. Well, actually, you probably don't know if it's not fun, because it only happens once. And even if... Even when it does happen, you probably can't go like, Oh yeah, this isn't fun, you know? I don't even know what I'm talking about. I just am... I'm almost like depressed from my prawn being stuck down there, but not exactly. Like my prawn is just stuck down there, man. And it is dark. Why can't these walls be like a bright color and not like solid black, right? Why can't they be like a nice happy color like pink or white? Or like just a light version of anything. That would be much preferred to what it currently is. <clears throat> There's a lot of blood oil here. Blood oil here. God. Okay, where? Here we go. So yeah, if I don't have Kyanite at my base, then I basically can't do anything. I'll have to make a new prawn suit, which won't be fun. Because I'll have to grind all of the resources, like enamel glass, and plasteel, and aerogel, and lubricant. Yeah. So basically, just, just pray that I have a Kyanite in my base. Because honestly, I've forgotten. I hope I do. I really, really hope I do. But... Yeah. What if there was like a speed upgrade for your... Seamoth? Like, it increased your speed by like... 
10% every time or something, so eventually you went like 30% faster, so you just zoom in. That'd be cool. Oh my god, that's... That is very disorienting. I can just spin any direction, that's weird. I mean, you know, of course I can spin any direction, but like, just performing it is... disorienting. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Something? Okay, no, I have nothing sort in there, but that doesn't mean that... We don't have it else, sir. Oh no, oh no. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so glad we have that. Okay, so. That means we just need. Oh, we need the dust. Oh. Okay, well, actually, that's fine, because we need to go down there anyway to make it, so we can just get it then. Okay. I thought I forgot to get it, and then we have to make it down here. Uh, whatever. Consume. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah. Give me the stuff. I've got more salt. Ten titanium. Do I have ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven titanium. Seven. Oh, I have more salt here. Why didn't I check here? Okay, seven. Oh, I have more table core too. Titanium. Give me titanium. Seven. I have seven. Uh. Give me, give me. I mean, if I was scanning something, considering I don't need a whole lot more. Okay, that's eight. Is there any scrap metal around here? I mean, I've essentially picked this creep vine forest dry because I've gone here like every time I need any resource. And soccer too, if I'll collect that just in case. <coughs> ah, don't worry, no, I don't have COVID. Oh no, you coughed two times. Bro, you have COVID. Bro. I heard you breathe for more than one audible second, bro. Man, you got COVID, definitely, dude. Uh, why is there no... Why is there nothing? Oh, well, there's limestone right there. There's no... There's no scrap metal, and why is this floating? Copper, well, I don't really want copper. That's not really what I want. I'll scan you. And I kind of want to get some more just because... thing. I was looking at the wrong beacon. Oh, I need lithium too. And I don't think I have enough lithium. Cause I need I need two, right? I think I I I know I definitely know I have one lithium. But I don't know. Oh, where am I? I was so confused. Okay, so 
So I've got that. I can make that into an ingot. Uh, yeah, of course. I just put them in different places so I wasn't sure, but we have enough for that. So now we just need to go back all the way down there and do the thing. I will replace you. Uh, put you in there. I don't need that. Uh, and you. Uh, okay, let's go. the grind the same route I've gone so many times oh so many times but this time it is with purpose this time it is with dedication this time it is with a solid reason in mind I already said that uh, whatever this time we will take names we will conquer we won't stop for anyone, including a sea dragon leviathan, and we will get our prawn suit back because it's trapped down there. Where is it? It's trapped all the way down there, dude. It's probably scared. Or it would be scared if it had a mind, because they don't. How did that fish take 16% off my raft? Jeez. I'm glad I got this beacon here, but I probably Oh my god, these fish are so annoying. I mean I probably I probably, I could I, oh, I can't speak. Uh, I could probably just make a whole reinforcement module. Cause that's a thing that you can make. Where it it probably I, I would say it probably like either reduces the chance that you'll get take damage. Or it just reduces the amount, or both. What the? That my, that just came flying at me. Oh, my face is itchy. Okay, that was probably loud for you. I accidentally touched or bumped my microphone the, ex the exact spot where it is with my thumb. That was probably very loud. <clears throat> very loud for you considering how sensitive my mic is. Well, I don't know if sensitive is the right word, but... waiting to get there I'll tell you some good news I finally managed to uh, play Apex Legends again you know that one battle royale game that's been out for a while now I originally played it all the way back when it first came out I grinded that game a lot because it was just fun for me right I actually quite enjoyed it and then I actually played it before I got my PC in my room that I am currently on right now and, but then I discovered that Apex Legends, I couldn't use it on my current AMD processor that I had. So then just recently, I got, in August or so, around then, the end of August, uh, I got an upgrade for my computer. I got a new uh, CPU, I got m more RAM, more memory, uh, I got more storage, and I got a new motherboard that would actually be more upgradable than the previous one I had. But more importantly, I actually managed to uh, be able to play Apex Legends again. So it's more just a nostal nostalgia thing, right? Because it's been like over a year since I last played Apex Legends, excluding now, because I, I played it like today and stuff, but it's been like 
a year and seven months about, I would say, since I last played Apex Legends. And after all this time, I'm back to it, and it's just, it's just fun, you know? Because that game is so unique with, like, the different characters and stuff, it's very dynamic. You know, and if you're not feeling like one person, you can just go, oh, well, look at all the other legends there are. And I know you have to buy some of them, but still, it doesn't it doesn't take that long to buy, to get 12,000 of the currency to buy it. But anyways, this is Subnautica, this is not Apex Legends. That was just a little bit of a story, because I'm bored. Okay. Okay, wait, I just realized... I'm gonna have to take out the module, so the crush steps will be 500 temporarily. I hope that won't negatively affect it that much. I mean, it probably will because I'll take the depth module out. But welcome up, Captain. All systems online. Okay, so yeah, I just need the depth module, and then I can make it. Okay, so before I do this, let me just confirm. Mark one. Oh no, I need it at a modification station. So I'm gonna have to bring this all the way up. Okay, well, fun, 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 fun. Uh, should I... I mean... I'll leave my steam off here. Oh, the engine was on this entire time. It's probably not good. It's one thing after another. I mean, the thing is, I could make a modification station on my Cyclops. In fact, I could make a lot of things on my Cyclops, you know? Like, I can make a fabricator in here, I can make a radio, I can make a medkit fabricator, I can make a modification station. I mean, I can probably even make a bed in here. But... And, like, storage and stuff. I'm really not utilizing my Cyclops at all, to be honest. My power goes down so slow. Great. Oh, I can see into the earth. Look at that. probably stop banging the rear of this thing on the ceiling. That's probably not good for it, you know? Okay, so I feel like we have another problem. Uh, the ghost leviathan. So, we're going to be very careful. I mean, I don't even think we... When we originally bought the Cyclops down, I don't even think we... Saw the Ghost of Biathan because it didn't even spawn, but... Better safe than sorry. So it spawns like over there. God, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Give me who. I know you're probably wondering, like, oh, you're hitting your summary on everything, isn't doing damage. Uh, not really. No, it's not. Because you can only really take damage if you, uh, oh, there it is. We saw it. Okay. Okay, so it's not close to me. Yeah, it spawns over in the middle, so we should be good. Thankfully. 
the head standing. Okay, let's just go. Ah, uh, okay, God, that is just. Let's turn the lights on and stuff. External flood lights on. That did a number on our power. But we are gonna go. This is gonna be worth it. We're gonna be able to go so deep with this Cyclops when we have the depth module. Can that music cue stop playing the moment I exit this place? very not reassuring at all and there is a biter just on my ship get off my ship thank you There's not really any threats around here, so. Warning, engine overheat standard. Yeah, when when it says engine overheat, that's probably not a good thing to keep your speed at maximum because your engines will actually burst into flames, and then you have to put them out manually. So yeah, probably not a good idea to keep that on. Let's breach the surface. Three, two. One. Oh, we can fly with this thing too. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. The USS, whatever I named this. The Reaper, the Ghost. What did I name this? I completely forgot. That's probably not a good thing that I forgot what the name of my Cyclops was, but you know. Whatevs. Uh, what are we hitting? Oh, it's really shallow here, I forgot. I gotta remember to turn it off because if I leave the engine running, it'll actually drain power, which is not good. Engine powering down. Okay, so wait, we need the uh, the depth module. It's on this side. Uh, there we go. So I'll make the module and then I'll put it in the... Let's play with the fish. Hello, cuttlefish. Yeah, I know. You're enjoying your life, aren't you? Here, have a treat. There you go. I know you're enjoying your life, but... Man, as an adult, I have to do so much. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, wait, I'll exchange the battery. Unequip, equip, and then uh, that, and that. So we'll make the module, and then we're we'll actually. Wait, what? Didn't I get the depth module? Oh, I don't even have the Mark II. Wait, what? 
I don't even have the Mark II. Wait. I just need Nickel then. I didn't even have the... What? I didn't even have the Mark II. Okay, well... I mean, it doesn't even really matter. Apparently, I didn't have the Mark II either. Okay, well, we could make the Mark III, but depending on how deep it goes, I don't think we'll need it. I didn't even know we didn't have the Mark II. Okay, well, let's see how deep this goes now. Uh, there. 1300 meters? I mean... We might need to go deeper, but I think that's good. I mean, how far, how, how more deep we need to go? If we need to go deeper, we can just get out in the prawn suit. But we can just use our sea glide because we have that. Okay, cool. So, that was some Nautica. Uh, tomorrow, if you saw my pinned comment on the uh, Do You Copy video, there actually is another ending in that game that I'm going to record and publish tomorrow. So, it won't be just not a Nautica episode tomorrow, it'll be a, uh, it'll be a, uh, do you copy video, showing the other ending, and then, oh, I have no, that's not good, I'm about to run out of power, or not, but, uh, yeah, if you saw, I'm gonna record the other ending, and then, after that, sometime, I'll get, Oh, my, that tree just disappeared. Why is my thing moving? Are they pulling it? Oh my god, stop that. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna take the infected fish and put them in the thing, because... If I, like, pick them up and stuff, they probably despawn and, like, let another fish spawn, you know? And I'd rather have... A non-infected fish then that okay but yeah I'll make the other I'll record the other ending to do you copy tomorrow and then after that sometime I'll make another somatic episode I don't know if I'll do it on Monday I mean I, I don't think I'll have that much to do Monday in terms of school and stuff so probably but okay there you go are you active I mean, it's probably going to take a while. I also have no... Solar panel energy. Yeah, I can't do anything. What's taking up all my power? Is it... It's probably this. Is that... Are they getting bigger? I can't tell if they're getting bigger. The sand shark probably will get bigger at some point. Or maybe it won't. I don't know, I'm gonna sleep, but, uh, yeah, oh, my power just skyrocketed, and then you see that, but anyways, yeah, uh, see ya sometime, see you when I make my ne next video tomorrow, uh, do you copy video, hope you enjoyed this Subnautica episode, and the next, in the next Subnautica episode, and not do you copy, we will finally try and get my prawn suit back, we have had so many setbacks, but I'm pretty sure we have everything we need to finally go and do it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see ya in the next video. Goodbye.